hello happy people hamza here and welcome to this tutorial now in this video i'm going to show you how to create free login forms in your elementor website and the login page we're going to create is going to look something like this now first things first you have to be logged into your elementor or wordpress website and you come over here to plugins and then you say add your plugin and here we are going to add a plugin called htmega HTMega add-ons for Elementor is a really good plugin that comes with a couple of free widgets that you can use to create sections or elements within your Elementor website. Now, I have it here activated and uh, what you have to do on your side is simply to install and activate that plugin and once it's activated, it will show up right here. Now, when we go to this plugin over here, it shows all the available widgets you can use for free and they are all here enabled. So in case you don't want to use any of these widgets, you can simply deactivate them and they won't show up in your Elementor widgets section. But in this case, we are going to use this form here that is called user login form. So it's already enabled, so we don't have to do a thing there. The next thing that we have to do is simply come over to pages or what you have to do is simply open up a new page where you want to add your user login form. In this case, I'm going to create a new page called login name this login i publish publish and i'll open this page with elementor now once it opens up with elementor i'm simply going to come here to the widgets area and i'm going to search for a widget called login and it will show up right here with ht mega add-ons logo so i'll simply drag it over this side and boom i have already a demo login form displayed now we can choose from a number of styles that have been to that have been put together by htmega add-ons for example this is style 2 there is style 3 there is style 4 oh this looks invisible so i'll simply add like a gradient to our column so that we can have it visible something like that then I'll come back to my widget, style 5, style 6, style 7. So in this case, I'll use maybe style 4, something like that. Yeah, style 4. And then now we can make a couple of customizations. One, we can show our label. Label is this one. And then we can show a custom label too. For example, you can add a username label a username placeholder or password label a password placeholder and a lot more i won't do anything right here but in case you want to do something like that well and good then you can also add the option in case someone forgot their password which is here in case you don't want you can simply disable it but i want it to be enabled and then there is an option for remember me here you can either enable it or disable it and you can also change the login text button right there now the other thing we can do is simply to style up for example we can change the background of our form here by this case i already changed the background for the for the column but just to show you in case i change the color here it will change the color of our form but i prefer to use the column as our background color or form color now there is an option for the input whereby we can change our input color and for example if i say here white and I come here, I type, it will be white. But white won't display, so I simply make it to be black. Okay? Or I simply leave it on default. Placeholder text. This is a placeholder text color, so I can change that to maybe a white. So that when it's a placeholder, it is basically in white. We can even change the typography of our input. We can change the size. Something like that. But I prefer to leave it maybe at 16 and also the background type of our input right here so we can change it to any color that we prefer the other thing we can change is for the submit button we can change you know the hover and the button color right here including the text and the background all that is possible by styling it right up there next is the label the label is this so we can a bit increase the font size of our label and then we can even change our label color so to white so that it looks visible on our background and i think that's all 
the other things you can do like motion effects you can easily add them under the advanced section now we simply have to hit update once we hit update now it means that our button is live but we would want to make some changes right here on our column uh, for example we can change our section size to make it a little bit smaller something like that and uh, maybe we can also add some margin at the top so like 100 so that it doesn't look to be too squished to the header something like that and then we simply hit update now when we come over here to our pages section i'll open it up in a new tab and right here we will see a page of ours called login and when i view this now here it will show us that we are already logged in okay you are logged in as admin so i'll simply now go to a new window and i will open up our new page called login and boom our login page shows up here now this is how you can create login pages in your elementor website and you can share them or provide links to any persons who want to log in or in case you created registration forms you can simply add an option to log in right here and someone will simply click on that login page and they will come to this page and they simply see have these options to log in if you have not seen the tutorial on how to create registration forms for elementor or wordpress website i'm going to link it up here in the card or in the description box below now we are here on our login page and i'm going to log in as the admin and at the same time i'll provide my password and then i'll simply log in so successfully we have been logged in and boom we are in my wordpress dashboard right here okay now in case it is another user or whatever they can simply log into this dashboard now the other thing you have to know is that you can redirect this login page to a specific page you want your users to reach once they log in for example you can say redirect page after login and here you can provide a specific url you want people to access once they log in it may be a course it may be a number of resources that you're providing on your website for only the users who registered on your website now the login details i used are under here in my wordpress dashboard under users and this is this is the login that i used to be able to log into my wordpress website so in case really you want to see how to enable users to register on your wordpress website check out the tutorial in the description box below so in case you have any questions comments about this tutorial please let me know down in the comment box below otherwise i hope you love this tutorial and that it brought you value in case you like this video please hit the like button and in case you're new to the channel please subscribe thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one